Hello, dear animals. I hope you're well. This is my first video in California. So I'm joining you from Pacific time, which is very exciting. And this morning, kind of fun how this keeps happening. I pulled octopus, which I've already done a meditation about. So what I take this to be an indication of is that if you're tuning into this, check out my YouTube channel and check out the octopus one. I'll link to that channel in the comments below. And um, so there's a link between octopus leading into the next card I pulled, which is today's meditation, which is the sea serpent. Whoa, it's so funny. These live videos are like backwards. There we go. So this is what we're going to journey with, but I'm going to bring in some of the aspects of octopus. Um, when I did the meditation with octopus, what came up was um, this way in which we can desire something that's off in the distance and then be holding on to something that's, that's safe and familiar and grounding to us. So that ties in perfectly with what came up, what sea serpent wanted to share with us. So go ahead and lower your eyes and take three nice breaths Just coming into your body, inhaling and exhaling slowly, feeling the support of whatever you're sitting on or laying on that's holding you. And coming into the space that sea serpent really supports is our second chakra, the womb space and woman, the seat of a very powerful seat in men as well. The idea that men also have an energetic womb through which ideas and things are birthed and created. And so bring your awareness down into your belly, into that area, and feel what it feels like there right now. As you breathe in, can you breathe so deeply that your breath comes all the way down into your belly. And the sea serpent is one of the animals associated with a different dimension from ours in this deck. So there are sea snakes that exist in the reality that we are familiar with, the physical world. And there is the very powerful archetypal animal totem of sea serpent. And there is a mothering quality and a water quality to her. So as you breathe into your belly, into your second chakra, feel any emotions that may be living there and know and trust that they are perfect, they are right, that any feelings you feel alive in that space and that space of water are absolutely divine in this moment. And as you breathe there, just feel water filling that space and feel the sea serpent gently wrapping around you like a hug a tender, healing embrace that can really help any 
feelings, any emotions that are living in this area of your body to dissolve into the water that she brings to you in this moment. So take a couple breaths into this healing portal that's been created for you. And then the next part of the journey that Sea Serpent wants to give to you involves really being in touch with the things that you desire. So bring into your heart, what are you, what are you calling into your life right now? What is it that you're desiring to be different in your, in your day to day? Perhaps there's a desire for a partnership, for someone to come into your life who really meets you or a different type of work, different opportunity to support yourself and bring abundance into your life while helping others. Or maybe like me, you're in a moment where you're on a search for a new home space. And so I'm going to use a personal example of my journey with looking for a home to explain to you this next part that the sea serpent wants to really help you connect to. As I've been visioning a home space that can be a place where people can come, the clients that I work with can come and feel safe and protected and warm and cozy as they go into deep healing work, inner work. A place of joy and beauty where the land can be honored and a knowing of the sacred will be embraced as I am feeling that desire in my heart and in my womb, my belly. I am also in tune with the desire of the land and of the home for me to be living there. That there's a magnetism and and desire goes in both directions. So just as much as you may be desiring a new partner, for instance, that person is desiring you as well. That job position is desiring you. The, the people who are going to rent this home to me are desiring me to be there renter. It goes both ways. And so really let yourself lean into that, that way that things are, are so perfectly designed and playing out. And that whatever it is that you have brought in the invitation a minute ago of what you desire, the sea serpent is inviting you to imagine ripples going out in the water, out all around you, the ripples of your desire for that thing. And just as you are creating those vibrations, sending them out, the thing that you desire, who you desire, whatever that is, is also sending out ripples 
in search for you. In search for you. And so allow those ripples coming out over the water to meet, to start to create some waves, something noticeable and tangible, some signs pointing you in the direction of what to do next, how to be of service. And the sea serpent is witnessing this and holding space for you in this moment, in this way. So breathe into your ripple, feel it coming out through your heart, through your belly. Knowing that your desires are so divine, so in tune, so perfect. Take another deep breath or two here, doing whatever feels right to complete it, thanking the sea serpent for coming up for us today, all our gratitude and love to this animal medicine, and what is being taught to us. Thank you for tuning in. Good to see everyone's names here. And um, please, if you found this useful, I invite you to share with a friend, tag someone in the comments below. And I'd love to hear in the comments what came up for you um, in terms of your desire. What are you calling in? I would love to also hold space and, and be in prayer and bring it into my meditations as well that um, all your heart desires is coming to be. And so, um, yeah, I, I just love you all so much. I'm so glad that you're a part of my life, whether I know you closely or more at a distance. Thank you for being here and tuning in. And as always, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, feel free to find me on Facebook. And you can subscribe on YouTube if you use that platform or um, be sure to follow me on Facebook. You can go to my profile page, Click the drop down to see first and that way every uh, week when these pop up you will know about it and get to see what animal comes through so lots of love thank you thank you see you guys soon <laughs>